All right, so we're here, we're gonna talk about infield play, all right? Um, we're gonna talk about just the structure of what um, is a proper technique to number two is, is some drills that maybe can help us, all right, um, in a game-like situation. All the way up from uh, four years old, all the way up to 18 years old, 20 years old, all right? And the whole key here is, is a lot of reps, all right? And a lot is a positive in, uh, uh, feedback, all right? Coach Killian here is going to be like the coach that's going to be like rolling the balls, okay? And you could have four or five guys in here. I'll work in this drill, all right, <laughs> with, with a 9U player right here, okay? And I'll work in here, and we'll work as many reps as we possibly can, but there could be five, six guys right here, all right? And here's the keys. Let me show you some basics real quick, okay? Number one is, is the, the two things that you want to make sure that you're looking for is, is you want to make sure that you are <coughs> an airplane, all right, landing, all right, and then taking off, okay? Not a helicopter, okay? So think of those, those are good cues to give to kids and say, hey, we're gonna be, I want you to be a, <coughs> an airplane, not a helicopter, okay? And when we go down, and when Coach Killian's gonna roll me a ground ball, so I have two cones up, it's perfect to go here, and so you can start off where Coach Killian's gonna just roll me simple ground balls, and what I'm gonna work is work my glove out front, and I'm going to work like an airplane, and then I'm going to throw, and if you have a net, a fence, whatever you might have, okay, you work on a target, and you work on throwing to that target, okay? The good thing, Coach Killian has a little, uh, a little target up there, and you can have a target. It could be anything, okay? And what we're trying to create here is just some sort of sequence, some athletic ability for someone to catch and throw to a target, all right? And that's our number one thing that we're trying to create, all right? <coughs> With, um, with just coming with just simple awareness, okay? Again, you're gonna watch Coach Kirby tonight, all right? <coughs> and come on in, all right? And you're gonna work. Now he's left-handed, a little bit different. Why don't you come on in, all right? <coughs> and so Coach Killian's gonna give us some feedback. He's just gonna sit on a bucket. He's gonna roll a bucket of ground balls. You're gonna see how fast he can do it. And he's gonna rep them out, and you might hear him say, "Hey." Be an airplane or, hey, work on your feet, work on your feet working through, okay? We'll work on feet. There's other feet things that we'll work on, but right now it's more on catching the ball out front like an airplane instead of a helicopter. Okay. Here we go. <laughs> Getting those hips down. All right, All right. Here we go. Okay, here we go. Okay, slow it down a little bit. All right, here we go. So he's throwing yeah, in. Keep coming through. Keep coming through. So he's saying keep coming through. So he's keep working. We're still working right here. Still working fast reps. <laughs> and now you can start working in, in, inside the cone. So he's working here. Now I'm working on reaction. Catch the ball front. I'm working. Get my momentum going towards the target. <laughs> that this can go as quick as you can. We're getting a lot of reps. The kid could miss 15 in a row. That's okay. You're still getting positive feedback. Hey, what a catch the ball out front. Hey, you know what it is, right? <laughs> and then you can work back from here, all right? And the thing is, is he can go from here. He can work back. He can get a fungo, and he can start hitting. But I think from a periodization process, we set kids up for failure because we get back up there, and we hit a ground ball. And that's probably not the best thing we could possibly do. Remember, Ozzie Smith said this. He said, for every live ground ball, there's got to be 50 <coughs> fungos or reps just like this. We just got 50, <coughs> we just got 50 reps probably in a, in a three, four-minute period, all right? And see me, I'm already out of shape, and I'm, I'm already <laughs> tired. Now, that's the thing is, is what we want to try to create is, is an atmosphere where they can be productive, where they can work on muscle memory, they learn how to fail, and at the same time, they're having fun at the same time. Then you can make competitions with that. You want to talk about that? Yeah. Uh, when you get to the point to where you're actually hitting them live balls, okay? Uh, this right here is an AccuBat. Uh, you can get it on Amazon, uh, any of the baseball websites. Um, I highly recommend it, okay? You can do a lot of good things with this, and you're very accurate with it, okay? You, you simply use it basically like you would a ping pong paddle, and you can hit 
very well placed ground balls. You can get pop ups that are very accurate. Uh, and it's great for the younger kids because you can control where you want to hit the ball. Okay? Obviously, the younger kids, and you do start hitting to a bat, a lot of people try to go up there with a one arm, one hand bat. Well, you don't have a whole heck of a lot of control over that. So uh, I recommend you spend a little bit of money and get this. You can get about $30 uh, on Amazon, and they last forever. Um, I've had these for several years. And uh, it's really easy to use. It's a good, precise ground ball, fly ball. Uh, it can help you out with your play. Good. I like it. Okay.